horse. That uh, devastating footage from a uh, porch doorbell camera was at the end of July, and uh, the man who laid out there eventually died. His name was James Rail. Um, so, uh, by the way, a grand jury also, by the way, did not uh, choose to charge the man who shot him those three times and uh, eventually killed him. Now, um, the neighbors did come by, hear all the gunshots, and they discovered that there's someone laying out in the driveway. And it seemed pretty nonchalant. That's what struck me a little odd about this next moment of these scenes is they're trying to figure out what happened. Let's watch with the neighbors. I don't know if I can just casually walk over someone's dead body like that. Either way, it was, here's the details of why this happened and what went down. So James Rail was 22 years old. He was shot those three times by Mitchell Duckrow, who's 52 years old, after he showed up unannounced to this home at the end of July. Earlier this month, a Shelby County grand jury voted eight to one against indicting Duckrow on charges related to his killing, citing the state's stand your ground law, which says that a homeowner does not have a legal duty to retreat from their home before firing a gun. As you also heard Duck Row talking about, I have a gun, get off my porch. All those things were happening, you heard on, on audio. Rail had dated Duck Row's daughter, Allison, who's also 22, uh, previously, but the pair broke up a year and a half before this tragic incident. Uh, Rail left his ex girlfriend a voicemail the night before the shooting, saying he wanted to see how she was doing. And then that's when he showed up the next day. Um, his uh, 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 Rail, James, the victim there, um, his sister did post that voicemail to point out just how non intimidating it was. We don't have time to play it, but you guys can also check that out because she's all over her Facebook trying to point things out. Their family's out there. Let's go down to this, uh, this graphic that they have there, graphic uh, six, you guys. They're standing out in front of um, the authorities and, and the police uh, locations. Protesting, trying to get some kind of attention for what happened. Also, uh, his sister's name is Jessica Marie Colbert, Colbert, or Colbert um, and she posted some speculation about the reasons why this may have happened in her other Facebook post. She said, "The world's waiting to, uh, to see is seeing your name." She's talking to her brother, who's not with us anymore. She goes, "While it's not the way I want to be seen, I believe things will align for us in your honor." She points out that the guy has a history of DUI. He had beer bottles lined on the table in his house, beer bottles by his sink, and his wife was carrying a 24 pack of Bud Light that morning, and on and on and on. So now it comes to this whole, and I know where um, the law is with self defense and all that, and this guy was busting through the door. Let's keep it real, the camera was there, Ben. Um, but yep. his sister and his family is like, there's something missing here, and something else was going on. There was a non threatening voicemail. He showed up, they dated, they've known each other since forever, and then it ends like this. There's a lot more going on, in my opinion, here. I just don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe so, but, and, and maybe the third shot was unnecessary when the guy was turned around, but. This, in, in my opinion, and for all the critics there that say, oh, oh, liberals don't ever want, or they're soft on crime, they don't want guns. I think this killing was totally justified. I'm sorry, somebody tries to bust down my door, 
and breaks the lock and is coming in when I already said I have a gun and he does not retreat, I'm blasting that guy in the face, he's dead. I'm sorry, that guy got what is coming to him, sorry. The whole thing happened with that and I was like, well, I'm curious what the family thinks. And honestly, that many aspects of what the family's saying, I didn't see a lot of reporting on because then you think they must be spinning their wheels. There's not much of a justification for this. There was a weird look on his face. I don't know if we can run just the beginning. That's why I kept the beginning of that so much. When he's standing and looking at the door, he looked off. He looked confused, he looked dazed, something else was going on. And maybe there's a history between this guy and the girl that they broke up over. But it seems like there was some tension. And then the shooting was much easier than you would have thought from someone who maybe dated your daughter, but maybe it wasn't ending in a lot of violence or or, or, or strife or any of that type of stuff. It's I feel bad for the family, um, but also I understand what was going on with what happened and he knew by law he could do something like this. It's just the way these things work, we usually, we usually just don't see it on camera and that's when yep. it gets startling. Killing someone is a serious real thing, bro. Hope people can notice that more now. I don't know where this is gonna go, but I, I, I doubt they're gonna get much of a different answer.